Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about how to fix iPhone white screen of death. So, you wake up in the morning and suddenly find your iPhone screen turns into white completely. No home screen, no app icons, you can see nothing but a frozen blank display showing white light. What is it? It's an iPhone white screen issue, which is also called white screen of death, or in short, WSOD. According to Apple's discussion forum, the white screen of death issue even occurs on an iPhone which was bought within a year. Around 75% users claim that they get a random stuck white screen on iPhone 13 series. But there is nothing to worry about as there are possible fixes for it. In this video, I will share with you how to fix white screen of death on an iPhone. Before you jump to the solutions, it's a wise move to figure out why your iPhone screen goes white. Here are some common reasons. The screen itself could be faulty rendering the iPhone screen turning white without your knowledge. Or maybe other hardware components like the LCD board and touchscreen controller are broken. Sometimes, an app you recently downloaded from an unknown source could also lead to the iPhone white screen of death, and most of the time you're unaware of it. Besides, corrupted files, incomplete updates, jailbreak failure, and overheating issues could also cause stuck white screen issues. Now, follow me to try the troubleshooting ways below of how to fix iPhone white screen. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step to make it easy to learn. Besides, if you have any questions, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Restart your iPhone. The first thing that you must do to fix the white screen of death issue on your iPhone is to restart the device. It's safe to do, as doing so is suggested by Apple and will not delete any of your personal data or files. It's also quick and simple which can be done with buttons only. Now, let's do it. If you're using an iPhone 10, 11, or later iPhone models, do this to restart your iPhone. Press and hold the volume up or down button and the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 8 or older iPhone models, do this to restart your iPhone. Press and hold the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. Now, check if you manage to remove the iPhone white light stuck on screen. Force restart your iPhone. The restart method doesn't work, you're not alone, and your next iPhone white screen fix is to do a force restart. This is also advised by Apple and will not lead to data loss. Now, let's do it. If you're using an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If you're using iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. Hope you now successfully fix the white screen on iPhone and get it working and running normally again. Toggle off zoom feature if it's on. It happens sometimes where it seems that your iPhone has a permanent white screen but in fact you just zoom in the display. As a result, all you see is the white light creating a false impression on you that your iPhone hanged on white screen. To eliminate such a scenario, you'll need to ensure that the zoom feature is off on your iPhone. Go to the settings app if you can. Tap on accessibility. Tap on zoom. Toggle the switch next to zoom to the off position. If you fail to enter the home screen and enter settings app, move to the next method. Fix white screen via recovery mode. Still unable to get rid of the white screen on your iPhone? Time to put your device into recovery mode and use a computer to turn it back on. In recovery mode, it's available to install a new update or return to device's factory settings. That way, it clears away the existing unknown system bugs. So if there is system error is responsible for the iPhone white screen of death issue, recovery mode can help make it back to normal again. Now, let's do it. Run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button. Then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, 
Press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Now, when you see this dialog box in your computer, start with updating your phone. It will not delete everything on your device. Click the update option and wait for the update process to complete. Thereafter, wait for your device to boot up. Then, disconnect your iPhone from the computer and you should be able to use it as normal again without seeing the white screen. If the update option doesn't work and your iPhone still shows a white screen, then you'll need to repeat the steps above and choose the restore option from the dialog box. Note that this will erase all data and settings on your iPhone and restore it to its factory settings. If you've backed up your device data, just feel free to do that. After the restore is complete, your iPhone should restart and prompt you to go through the initial setup process. Go to your nearest Apple store. See iPhone screen white after drop or water damage. Chances are the display is faulty, or there is some other physical or internal damage. Take your device to your Apple authorized repair center for a check. If your iPhone is under warranty, there is a great possibility that the iPhone white screen repair cost will be free of charge. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix iPhone white screen issues. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back to working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel Cora Radar for more tech-related content. Until next time.